These are the faces of teenagers who died by suicide after being blackmailed over explicit pictures. It's called sextortion, and it is exploding online and devastating young teens. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples reports more than ever. Criminals are convincing our kids to send X-rated pictures and threatening to post them unless the teen pays up. Parents need to talk to their kids now. Pauline Stewart has never been much for public speaking, but this California mom told me over Zoom she has no choice. I have to because I have to honor him by doing stuff to help other people because I know that's what he would want me to do. In late February last year, Stewart said goodnight to her son, 17-year-old Ryan Last. He was his normal self. But four hours later, around 2 a.m., the straight-A student, second-degree black belt, future Eagle Scout, set to start college in the fall, died by suicide. They had put so much pressure on him that he was so afraid that this was going to ruin his life that he didn't think that he had any choice but to take his life. A criminal posing as a girl Last's own age had connected with the teen on social media earlier that very same day and convinced him she was interested. They sent him a picture um, and asked for one in return. And when he did, within seconds of getting it, they demanded $5,000 from him. Stewart says her son is one of at least 13 young people nationwide known to have died by suicide after sextortion, including West Michigan. If you need evidence that sextortion is threatening kids right here, this is it. These are search warrants filed in the court that covers rural and suburban Kent County. Target 8 has put out warnings about sextortion before, but it was a recent routine inspection of search warrants that convinced us we needed to talk Talk about it again. According to search warrants, police in Kent County alone over three months investigated at least a dozen sextortion cases among the victims, an 11 year old girl, a 14 year old girl, a 15 year old boy. It's happening through Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. One victim paid $850 through Apple Pay, another 300 bucks by Venmo. An offender wants money, they want gift cards, they want financial gain. Homeland Security Investigations says the scammers, often based in West African countries, are primarily targeting boys between 14 and 17. But girls are victimized too, including a nine-year-old in West Michigan. The message to parents from Homeland Security agents and Pauline Stewart. Let those kids know that if they make a mistake, you're there for them no matter what. If they're not comfortable telling you, make sure they identify now a trusted person they can tell. Stewart says her son left a note apologizing for falling for the scam. He had always been trusting, she says, kind and loving. Even in his note, he asked us to tell, uh, tell his friends how much he loved them. He let us all know, me, his dad, his brother, we, we, we meant everything to him and he, he did, was the same for us. If this happens to your child, experts say first remember the predator is to blame, not your kid and not you. Get help from police or from the Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Paying rarely stops the threats. Report the predator to the social media platform. Block the person, but don't delete the messages. Police may need them. But the number one tip right now, talk to your kids.